So I participated in the 12 Empowerments firstly around 10 years ago. Um, and I would say since then it's just a, it's a continuous and ongoing opening. Um, yeah. It's important for me to remember how my life was before and how it is since. And it's very stark, it's very obvious the difference uh, between between the before and after, it's like, it's so different. I mean, I know it might sound dramatic, but I could, I could, I could say that my, me being here, me being alive is basically, uh, I owe that to, uh, to balance you and to my participation in the training and to the four mainstays. When I met the training, I was, uh, I had done an incredible amount of searching and seeking and it was very, it was very like kind of feverish seeking. I was, I was desperate to get relief from, uh, from the, the inner workings of my mind. Um, everywhere I turned, there I was, and I couldn't, I didn't know what to do with what I found there. Uh, and it just got increasingly more challenging to deal with. <clears throat> um, and it was a bit of a last resort for me. I, I'd seen friends get involved with the teaching and I saw them start to shine and be kind of like peaceful. And I was like, wow, okay. So I, I decided to, to join, the, I, I participated in the 12 Empowerments. It was winter in Sweden. Um, in the beginning, it was incredibly difficult for me just because it was, I was being asked to just relax. And I saw that in all of the different teachers I'd been with and all of the practices that I'd had, nobody had ever actually just suggested that I just stop for a moment <laughs> and relax. It was like, that was like, it was free as well. It's like I didn't have to pay anything for that ability to stop and relax. I was kind of, I'd spent an incredible amount of mine and other people's money on therapy and traveling around the world and researching who to, who to kind of go and get enlightened with. Um, and, and it was basically just a very gradual and gentle journey for me. Um, in the beginning it was a bit, I was kind of, you know, holding on quite tight because it was very intense for me. Um, and what's happened in the time since then is any idea I had about what the result of participating in the training would be. I mean, I had a big idea about enlightenment and you know, what that meant and um, all I knew of, of what that was was that it was a non-conceptual state, one basically where there was no thoughts, which for me would have been such a relief. Um, and what's occurred for me is basically just I have an incredibly rich life. I mean, I have the most amazing friendships. Uh, I have uh, complete mental and emotional stability regardless of what's going on um, and lots goes on you know I mean I'm incredible I'm incredibly busy at the moment I'm launching a business here in Goa um, and despite anything that comes up whatever the challenge like I would say I'm pretty much unfazed now you know there might I might be you might look at me and think something's going on there but internally it's really like there's nothing going on and I'm done I'm complete, I'm satisfied. And um, yeah, and I basically just owe that to all of you and to, to Candice and to this teaching. Um, there isn't a single thing about my life that I would change. And that's with all of the elements. It's not like I'm, you know, I mean, I could list all the things that I might not like about being Joe but I wouldn't change any of them because they're all like, they're all exactly what I need to uh, be able to sit here and just like genuinely share with you that all is completely well. Um, and I know that it will get better and better regardless of what goes on. Um, it's just all I can look at is the last 10 years and see that that's all that's happened is basically I've been any idea I had has been kind of like knocked out the ballpark again and again. So I just trust that completely now. So I can say with complete conviction. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm incredibly, incredibly grateful. Yeah.